All right, I wanted to start this video with a huge thank you to you guys for the crazy amounts of support that I've gotten on this series so far. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it because I am too. So currently we have a record of 3-3-0, and a 900 save percentage, and a 293 GAA. We are going up against the Rangers here. And yeah, so I'm going to simulate the first two periods. I saw comments saying to play the full game, but then it's just my stats are going to be awful because <laughs> they don't shoot sometimes. The computer just literally will not shoot the puck, so... Okay, well, it's not like this is making it any better. Oh, boy. I was like, should I even go in? You know what? I think we're just going to skip out on this one because we already know the result. So, yeah, that was that was an awful showing from Tino Manny. Oh, boy. Coach wants to speak with me after that one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Am I getting cut? Let's see. We need wins right now, and that is not happening. This is a concerning trend. So, oh, that's right. I had to win that game, too. Crap. Okay. This is a long season, and there is still time to right the ship. All right, let's do it. Sorry about that one, Kochi. And my 900 save percentage dropped back down to an 8-9. I'm not happy about that. And Coach wants to speak again. Now, key storylines so, oh. to watch tonight. Watch between the pipes. As this team has lost five straight games, my Ooh, understanding have we? is that the coaching staff challenged the young rookie goaltender to step up. They're going to need their goaltender to steal a win for them at some point in time. This team is scuffling in front of them. At some point, you need your goaltender to steal one. And that's exactly what they've asked for the kid to do. Can he deliver? Only time will tell. And we're getting closer and closer to face him. Okay. All right. So, yeah, he's basically just saying it's been awful recently, as the guy was just saying as well. Get our uh, special oh. conversation with the Hockey Hall of Famer coming up a little later on. Meantime... Hey, look, locally, they have been hemorrhaging way too many goals as of late. And the youngster has kind of been uh, subject of a lot of criticism right here on this show as well. We've seen a lot of texts, a lot of stuff on social media as well and on the phone lines. And the coaching staff clearly sees the same thing that a lot of you are seeing as well. They pulled the youngster aside and sent a direct message, I think, uh, prior to the skate to say, hey, look, You've got to be better. We need more from you. And the idea of this goals against average where it's kind of floating around, it's a little too bloated for our liking. And we'd <laughs> like to slim that down. We'll see how that message is responded to between the pipes here when we get the next opportunity. To watch. I guess we will, won't we? All right. So that's a solid game plan. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's probably anybody could have gave you that answer, but you're right. <laughs> it's a good game plan. And a challenge is win the next game. Come on, man. Okay, Montreal's not doing so well either. So hopefully this simulation turns out okay. Let's see what happens here. Okay. 1-1 one, one heading in. Oh, no. Okay. We got a 1-1 one, one game heading into the third year. And we need to win this hockey game. Oh, and we also have to win three of the next five games. So we got two challenges. We have to win this game. And we also have to win three of the next five. So winning this one is extremely important. Because then that puts us on good pace to do the three out of five. And we complete the one challenge that's right now. Come on, let's go! Okay, fire me up, first shot from the boys, and we're already there. Honestly, you love to see it. I still can't believe Shabbat stole my number though. He was totally here first, totally had it before me, still stole it. Oh no, yes, a nice save. Okay, there's no one even here, you go, you go. Okay, this is Sven Berchi. I think that's how it's pronounced, oh, that's how I remember it anyway. I don't know, I haven't heard much about him in a long time, but anyway, guy seems to like taking shots, so. I'm a big fan of his. I've seen a few comments saying to maybe use the fixed camera. Come on! Oh, no! That would have been such a nice lead to have. Come on. Oh, boy. Suzuki. There we go. Off the blocker. We got some pressure on us now. Good job. Good job. Get it out. I think I've played the fixed camera angle before, but I think maybe if I was playing, you know, not for a video, I might use fixed, but for a video, I... Oh, so close. Nice try, boys. I think it's better to use this camera just because of the fact that it feels more, like, immersed in the experience, you know? You feel more like you are the goalie, whereas fixed, it's sort of like... From what I remember, anyway, it's a little bit higher up, and it doesn't really move around. Also, my vocal box was literally in pain yesterday, just because of how many videos I've been making. It's been crazy. Uh, yeah, you guys are... Oh, I did try to pass that right, but... I'm not gonna be too upset that it didn't work, because somehow it still could have turned out tragically, and I know it. It'd be sick if we could win a draw, though. Oh, come on! That bounced off of, like, three things. Okay, well, just like that, it's a tie game now. Sh <laughs> what am I supposed to do there? I, I don't think there's much I could have done. To be fair, I wouldn't say my positioning was great, but still. Like, that's just nothing <laughs> I could have possibly seen coming. We are now halfway through this here third period. 
And we both have a goal. Montreal scored one against me there. Point shot that kind of bounced. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Our team is on fire right now. All right, great. Now all the pressure's on me again. I just, <laughs> come on. I got to hold them off for about seven minutes. And then they'll pull their goalie and hopefully we can snipe when he gets the insurance marker. Here we go, Suzuki. A nice defensive play, 5-7. I love it. Oh, he's got it down low. He's going to pass. Not where I thought the pass was going to go. Well, I was doing good last episode, and now I'm getting just absolutely destroyed. And I give up in the slot. Okay, nice. Oh, oh. I am terrified now because they tied it back up, and I really don't want them to get the lead. Even though the way our team's been playing, honestly, I feel like we are going to get one more goal here before... That is... You got to be kidding me. It pretty much rode... The How? Carry. Nope. Oh, ye he's got it down low. Back to the point. Petrie, cross. Wilson in the slot now. There we go. Into the corner. Oh boy, they have a lot of pressure going here. Nice pick. Now get it out. Stop. Don't bring it in front of the net, you idiot. <laughs> Lowry. And that's a high shot. Oh, you're wide open over there. There we go. Yeah, I'll take that XP. Coming down to the final two minutes here. All right, Sven. Into the middle to Lowry. Oh, if they scored off another stupid deflection, I would have lost it. Shoot it. Oh, you had the left side. Well, I guess from his angle, maybe not. But it did look like Kerry was off to the one side quite a bit there. Here they come. Oh, he's going to cross crease. Oh, yes. Thank you. Good pick. I probably would have saved that anyway, actually. But I don't care. I don't want to risk it. Here they come again. Okay. So worst case, Ontario, I guess we don't complete this challenge. But we can hopefully still do the three out of five. Oh, you're gone. That was pro... I don't know if Suzuki got his stick on it or not. So he kind of blocked it, but... If not, that shot had to be one of the most pathetic attempts at a shot I've ever witnessed with my own two eyeballs. No! Yes, okay, I, I am not passing that. No chance today, Sven. I see you there in the slot waiting. All right, we're headed to overtime. Otiver time. Let's see who will strike first. Got a good feeling it's going to be the Senators. I don't know why I said strike first as if you can strike second because you can't. Golden goal, you know? You score, it's over. So, let's see who will... Get the winner! What a save! Yes. Oh, no, not like this. Don't give it up again. Get rid of it now, please. Thank you. Nice. Oh, carry Scott, that one. Easy all day. A little bit of a risky pass there, though. Still worked out. No! Oh, we took a penalty. That's probably all she wrote. Because they're going to take another point shot that's going to go off of the invisible man and somehow deflect top cheese. Gusev coming in, goes across to Gregorenko, who takes a shot. Woohoo! He got a hold of that one. All right, and in front. Oh, boy. We are not having a good time here, folks. Not a good time at all. Please get it out. Just drop. Ooh. I hated every second of that. Kakanyemi's coming in. Yes, great play. Ooh, he still got the shot off. I was not ready for that. Okay, they got 40 seconds left on the power play. Kakanyemi. <sighs> yeah, that's just unfortunate. Pretty much gave them a 2 on 0. Damn, man. I just felt like I was getting the hang of it, and then I... Go in here and just get lit up like a Christmas tree. You know, when you're losing, it's it just feels like there's no end in sight and, and just finding mm -hmm. ways, mm -hmm. right? And I, I like the way that this team responded. I actually thought that they played pretty well in spurts, and I really feel for the young goaltender. Uh, this isn't on him. This is not on him at all. I thought he battled, he competed, he showed up and did whatever he could to give his team a shot to win. But sometimes the hockey gods can be cruel. And case in point, the result we just saw. Time for a quick break. We're back with more. Yeah, I agree with that guy. Whatever he just said. back for a second here as the show rolls on to a conversation that the coaching staff had with the freshman goalie. And mm -hmm. boy, this challenge has not gone down in a positive way. That was supposed way. to be and secret. And I, I wonder about the relationship between the coach and the young puck stopper here going forward. Because the coaching oh. staff challenged them five games ago. And said, look, we want you to be better. Come up with some stops with us. Tighten it up. And it has completely gone in the in the wrong direction. In fact, I think I'm looking oh, no. at the numbers here. And things might have actually gotten worse. He has struggled between the pipes. And this is not going well right now for the team. And I just wonder where the club's going to go from here with the youngster. Uh, I want to hear from you. What do you think the team should do? Phone lines are open now. 
Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna get Fun set down, aren't I? On the schedule tonight, and a lot of people want to weigh in on it, so let's go to the phones. Democracy people, we start with Becky and Bayside. How did you feel about that one? Oh, that Give was me a thumbs fun. up. I love three on three overtime, and I thought both teams, they just put on a show. It's that just makes one, one of us. line change, and that leads to the goal, and that's how it happens. Just tired legs out there. So. I'm happy they picked up a point, and I thought the kid did really well between the pipes, too. That that last goal, the, Let's go. the winner, that wasn't on him. There was no chance to get that. I don't blame him. I thought he had a really good performance, and sure, it's too bad they lost, but that was a memorable one. I was having a lot of fun. I couldn't I couldn't stay seated. No, and there's always that immediate sort of feeling. Be a pro is go, so sick oh, this year. Oh, yeah. man, that one kind of stunk. And then you go, okay bonus point that was fun i was entertained for a little while anyway and then you move on uh nice to catch up there becky uh that opens up a line if you want to jump on man this mode is absolutely insane this year the fact like before they my team could have been behind their net could have been a five on oh but it would still be completely my fault but you know they're pretty much said i had no chance on the last goal there because two on oh or at least that's I'm assuming why. Maybe it could just be a default sound bit. But anyway, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that's why. Okay, we are 12, 15, and 4. We've got the Smashville Predators here next game. So let's do our usual sim the first two periods and then hop in. So it is 1-1. It is 3-1. But they have 29 shots. So as long as, you know, I keep it... Lockdown here in the third period. We should be good and we still got that, you know, win two of the next five games would be a little bit uh, More realistic there coachy, but I'll do my best In fact, we are definitely failing that challenge too because we lost the game before we're gonna lose this one at least unless the team just absolutely dominates here in the third and Then we have to win three in a row, which I simply do not see happening Dumped it in here We go and I'll take that free team play here. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna end up being a bad pass, isn't it? Never mind It got to our guy I'm safe for now. Oh, we're headed to the power play though. There we go. Okay, here's our chance. Let's get back into it here, fellas. Hopefully that comes around so I can get some more team play here. You absolute weasel. First you steal my number and now you steal my puck? Thomas Shabbat has some balls, let me tell you. Crawford's in net for Nashville, which I guess kind of makes sense because I believe I remember seeing Pekka Rene playing for Tampa Bay. Was it? So I don't know what happened in this BIA Pro, but clearly lots of trades are going down. And the only goalie I can think of that actually played on their team was Gary Price last game for the Montreal Canadiens. Some more free team play and good pass. I know, don't have to tell me. And into the middle, there we go. A high blocker save. I guess I'll hug the post for now just to get those <laughs> those points. But yeah, and then whenever they get possession of the puck though, that I immediately let go ever since I read that. Oh, he went five hole. He went freaking five hole. Maybe if my team stopped letting them walk in, like, it was a damn public park, then, you know, we wouldn't have any issues. But I'm going to scrap because I need to do something here. So, Corey, let's freaking get it started in here. Here we go. All right. Yep. I'm going to try to dodge right off the bat here. Sometimes it's kind of hard to time. There we go. The, the flying stick. I absolutely love how the equipment just... Oh, he got me. And, okay. We're going up close and personal. He's going to punch and I'm going to dodge. Uppercut to the chin bone. Oh, he got me there. Nope. Yup. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, this guy's throwing some weirdly timed punches here. I'm not used to this. There we go. Big dodge. And kaboom. Kaboom. Oh, no. Oh, he could have. I kind of want to. Can you hook goalies? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Well, I think it's time I end. <gasps> end the. No, Crawford, stop. Okay, that's all we wrote. That's all we wrote. Yep. That's not the saying. I don't even know if that is a saying in general anyway. Maybe I just made it up. Well, at least my team play should be solid. Wow. That... <laughs> was quite the shot and unfortunately i wasn't able to actually catch it but still saved it so at the end of the day that is all that truly matters i hate this right now i hate it go follow your dreams three six let's go yep night i mean it was a decent effort i suppose it's better than in previous games where they would just straight up stop and then wire a clap bomb for no reason all right well i don't know what to tell you we're getting sent down pretty much and then i'm just gonna simulate because i can't be asked <laughs> i am getting lit up so i still got a lot of improving to do clearly you know if i could have carried over from last video i would have been doing great but that didn't happen clearly to be honest if we don't end up getting sent down to the miners i am gonna be shocked so <laughs> i think it's gonna be going on in the near future here our current 
objective is just play for pride, so basically just trying not to get obliterated. I'll take an easy save, sure. And you're open, so <laughs> take some more XP. Basically, for you guys, every episode is a gamble. I'm either gonna be on fire or gonna be Swiss cheese and every single shot's going in. Take the shot, you won't. Oh, I've... That almost went in, truthfully. And another shot, a low one. Kick that off to the side. And a nice turn up there, you know, came up the ice very quick. It's not like it makes a difference though, we are still getting slaughtered. I mean, some of the saves probably do kind of come down to my goalies overall, because he's 74 overall playing in the NHL. It doesn't really surprise me that much that, you know, we get lit up occasionally here, but there's definitely some where I am just not in position or anything like that. I also wonder if computers will fight in this game, because I have yet to see that happen. I saw an opportunity where it said press Y to fight, but I guess neither of the computers pressed their non-existent Y button, and it just didn't happen. Okay, well, there's your three stars. Corey Crawford was an absolute animal, even in that third period. How many shots did they end up getting? They had 37 shots, so it wasn't too bad, save percentage-wise, but it's still not good. This is what happens when you lose like that. Brendan it joins us on the line from Burlington. How are you? What's on your mind tonight, Brendan? I mean, it's bad, right? Is well, it, it wasn't pretty. I think it is. <laughs> well, I mean, when you get torched like that, but I think there's a perspective of saying, okay, it's one game. It's one game, but do we have to have him start the next game? Can we get this kid some time off? Can we send him down? I mean, uh, it's embarrassing. No. What's really what happened? Well, let, let's let, okay. I mean, do you do you look at sending a kid down after one game like that? I mean, I think it's been a bit of a roller coaster for him, and I think that we've seen this before as well, haven't we? Let's put my headset out. I, I mean, if it was me, if it was me and Net, I'd say send me down, please, please send me down. <laughs> looking for a mercy killing on that one all right thanks very much for the call uh let's get back over to line number three that's not a good sign that probably means they are gonna send me down man these holes are a lifesaver i feel like i can record forever now i mean to be fair it's not like matt murray's doing a whole lot of winning either i think starting in the next episode so i can kind of expediate it here even though we are flying through it i'm going to basically play a game and then my next start i'll simulate and then i'll play a game and then i'll simulate because that's the only way that we can really get through this quickly and have it still be interesting, you know, because it's going to get very, not like repetitive, obviously be a pro, that's kind of what it is, but I don't think everyone wants to see me play every single game. It's just going to drag the seasons on. All right, so we are definitely failing that challenge because there is no chance I'm winning the next three games straight. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go give my head a couple shakes, uh, really think about it, and I'm going to come back. I'm going to record another one. So <laughs> yeah, I'm having a great time recording these, honestly. So I'm super down. So anyways, guys, we now have a record of 3, 5, and 1, a 3.6, and an 8.82. So, yeah, we've got some improving to do for sure. Just uh, before you load up the next video, roll the dice, and maybe if you get doubles or something, I'll play good. Because it's, like I said, it's basically a gamble. You never know what you're getting into. I'll either be on fire or suck. All right, well, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.